Hi guys and welcome to Asus Tech Review. I'm doing the follow on review today of the Asus RTN 56U wireless router. This is the, the first firmware page and uh, I'll be going through a few of the options in the firmware in a little bit more detail but to start off I just want to do a quick uh, walkthrough guide on setting up your connection to the internet because it's not as easy as Asus made it out to be. So what happens is when you plug your router into the power, plug it into your PC, open up a browser, it immediately launches a wizard. And the, and the, the wizard it launches isn't a very good one. So what you need to do is you need to cancel that wizard. Then at the top of your browser, enter in 192.168.1.1, hit enter, and that will bring you to this page here. Um, you're going to be, well actually before it brings you to this page, it will prompt you for a username and a password. Look at your router, the default username and password are printed on the back of it. Once you enter them in, this is the page that you'll see. Now, you're going to have a not connected. So what you do is you click here, go to Internet Setup, and choose DHCP, or sorry, choose Automatic IP, and just follow the instructions. You don't need to enter anything in apply all the settings, just bang 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 and away it'll go, it'll do all the work for you as you can see here. Now the process will take approximately one minute to uh, to go through the setup and then the next screen you're going to see is this here showing you your settings and as you notice I didn't type anything in at all, it popped all of this info in for me just like that. That's why I'm saying it's a lot easier just to cancel the wizard, go to the main page and run through with the automatic IP setup. So once you're done here, you just click back on your Aces screen and you're, here we go. Now we're connected. Now the great thing about this firmware, um, Aces did do a brilliant job in programming it, is it's very visual. And I find visual is a lot easier to understand rather than having all of these codes and type in rubbish here and lots of information. You know, the, the problem with this is not everybody knows what all of the abbreviations and the names for things are like DHCP and routing and bridge and UPnP, Easy QoS and all that crap. So it's easier just to see visually what's going on. And as you can see, it is very visual. And the beautiful thing about the visual aspect here is all of the pictures are interactable. So you've got your internet connection. You can see your IP, what's going on, the router status. 2.4 gigs, the 5 gig wireless connection, the SSIDs um, being what you see when you connect to. So when you have a, another laptop, you scan around for wireless networks, you're going to see from your router two. And whatever names you give them, for instance in my case, RTN 56U5 for the 5 gig, 2.4 for the 2.4 gig, um, all of the options are, are nicely and easily available the clients that I have currently connecting my USB disk which is connected into the router remember in the previous um, unboxing I was telling you about the USB ports the bi-powered ports they are very awesome I have a small little Philips external disk connected to my port on my uh, router and even when my computer switched off it is readily available around my network and all of the internet as in a file transfer protocol server, an FTP server. So if I leave the country and I've forgotten to bring some music, some movies or some important documents or whatever and they're on that disk connected to my RTN 56U, I can get them just by accessing anybody's internet connection. It's brilliant. So here we go, we can see the details, the status, plug in and so on. And AI disk is how you set that up. As you can see here, I've already got mine set up. This is my DNS name, my dynamic host name. Normally you would have to pay for a dynamic host or if you use the likes of DYN DNS, you can get a host name there for free. Uh, with the Asus one, you don't have to pay and that's really cool. They offer the service to you for free. And just to give you a quick idea of how to set this up, you click next, choose whichever one you want. Give it a password, pop in instead of a, and this is the part where you're changing your IP, so it could potentially be 
0.1.100 but when you're online you'll only be typing in a number because maybe you might not remember it so it's an awful lot easier if you have a name so my external so that there would be your DNS or your host name so you leave the country you want to access your files on your drive you stick in my external HD dot com dot com everything pops up and it literally just takes a few seconds to get it going it's it's quite good one more and here we go now you're probably thinking to yourself yeah that's all very well but I don't want anybody to be popping onto my uh, external hard drive which is being broadcasted over the internet because you might have things that you don't want to share like photos <laughs> so what you do there is you go back to AI disk and you click on the USB uh, option now I'll show you what I'm talking about here USB application and here you can set up your accounts administrators users they can all have certain viewing permissions uh, they can only view like that maybe you want one person to be able to only see your music but then your partner to be able to see your music the photos files and the whole lot all easily set up here um, there's great security you can pop in passwords so and so uh, just to make sure that if somebody does stumble across your web server by accident they'll be prompted with a password and won't be able to just pop in and look at all of your stuff it's quite nice and extremely as you've seen extremely easy to set up um, this here is just a visual to show you your PMP server to show you what's actually being broadcasted to what and here another area of mine which I find is really awesome um, this is the basically the settings page that prioritizes certain types of packets that you might like to use so if you're like me you're a gamer uh, if you're hopping in and you're, you're about to blast away a few people in COD or in the latest crisis 2 and your ones watching YouTube videos or something like that but you want the priority on the gaming packets BAM you just hit that there she's watching her YouTube or you're downloading and she's watching her YouTube so you want you can put it in in a specific order to give you a uh, priority of which packet so gaming first and so on it's quite nice and extremely easy to use then we have down here the advanced settings now I'm not going to go through all of the advanced settings otherwise we'll be here for an extremely long time so pretty much it's very straightforward FTP share your internet connection your names uh, your donate oh, domain name service and so on you know a lot of the these here are pretty much self-explanatory but if you happen to notice something that you're not familiar with and you'd like a little bit more information on then uh, leave a comment let me know and I'll do a video for it and I'll pop in because going through all each and every single one of them would take far too long um, to quickly explain what the button on the router is uh, in the previous video I found a button on the side of the router saying WPS and I kind of assumed it was for security and it kind of is this here is the setup for it and what you do is when you click on this I already have mine set up but you can set it up where you put in a pin code it allows extremely quick secure connection to your Wi-Fi so you pop in the pin and then without actually having to go into the firmware and then broadcasting you just push the button on the side of your router and bam out it goes and then anybody who picks it up just pops in the pin code that you've entered in so there you go and then they're connected like that with a secure connection it's quite nice and um, thank you for watching uh, do leave any comments if there's any area of the advanced settings that you wish me to go over um, don't hesitate leave a comment and I will see what I can do take care guys thank you for watching bye